Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. If you enjoy contemporary and high-end talk about bags, small leather goods, makeup, and even food, you're gonna wanna subscribe to this channel. So take a quick second and hit that red button down below. I'd love to have you back. And make sure to ding that bell so that you are alerted the next time I do upload a video. The topic for today's video is going to be a quick review on the Saint Laurent flat card holder that you see right here. If this is a piece that you have been toying around about buying but haven't quite pulled the trigger either because you can't really decide if you want it or if it's right for you or if you just simply cannot go into a store nearby to see it in person and make that decision, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to this video. I'll give you an in-depth look at this card case, show you how much it can hold, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to decide if this is a piece that you want to add to your small leather good collection. So take a seat, get comfortable, and let's get started. All right, here is the lovely Saint Laurent flat card holder. It measures four inches across, three inches tall, and 0.25 inches in depth. It currently retails for 275 US dollars in the States, and the color that you see right here is called Dark Grape. Saint Laurent actually offers this item in a number of colors all year round, both classics and seasonal. This particular color is a seasonal color that I personally was drawn to a great deal. I wanted to kind of branch out with my SLGs and get something that was fun and colorful, but also practical in the sense that it wouldn't be so light that it would show markings or stains or you know wear quite as easily as a lighter color and this one was a nice rich gemstone color that kind of fit that bill for me so i picked this beautiful piece up and added it to my collection looking in depth into the detail you will see a nice large ysl logo on the front right here in gold you will also see this in silver on some colors it just kind of depends on the color and what they decided as far as hardware color is concerned it features a nice pebbled leather that makes it quite durable and resistant to scratches certainly a lot better than any kind of smooth leather is concerned you have two credit card slots right here in the front as well as two credit card slots in the back. And then you have an open compartment at the top. Looking on the inside right in here, you will see that it says Saint Laurent Paris on one side. And then on the other side here, it's kind of like a heat stamp of the serial number for this particular item. As you can tell, they have stitched a chevron pattern on both sides of the card case, giving it a nice design. And this particular item, as far as the main body of the card case is concerned, is two pieces of leather that was brought together and stitched all the way around, as you can see. You can see right there at the bottom, there are some card cases that are all one continuous piece. For example, the Chanel flat card holder that I reviewed a few weeks back. I will link to it down below and actually at the end of the video in case you are interested in seeing that video as well. That was one continuous piece, for example. This one is two and they just stitched it all the way around like so and created this lovely little compact card case. So now what I'm going to do is load it up and show you how it looks all packed up. All right, here is the Saint Laurent card case all loaded up. As you can see, I put two credit cards in the front and two in the back, as well as some cash in that top compartment right in there horizontally. Now I have to admit that this is a new item to my collection, so I have yet to really use it. So packing this card case up was a bit of a challenge because I tried to load the cash in vertically in here and was unable to do so. I mean, I could do it, but I felt like the bills were kind of too close to the top, so I didn't like the look of it like that. So I personally, at least right now, in its brand new, yet to be broken in stage, for the card case would put my bills into it horizontally so that they can go in deeper into the card case and obviously not stick out and I don't think they'll fall out but it, I just don't think it looks nice kind of seeing the edge of the bills kind of creeping up at that top right there. Now I tried off camera to put some cards in here and 
into the top, I should say. Obviously I have them in the respective slots, but into the top. And it proved to be a little challenging, at least again, right now, while it's still brand new to me. I will only even try to put one right now. And as you can see, you know, I'm kind of fighting with it to get it in there. And that's just with one. So as it stands right now, I would not use that top compartment to put any cards in because see, even as I tried to put it in there all the way, you can see it's still kind of sticking out right, right at that edge there. So it might need some time to kind of loosen up and soften up to allow for more cards in the top and perhaps even for the bills to kind of go in vertically if you would prefer to set them in there in that way. Like I said, I just bought this not too long ago and have yet to really put it to use and, and start getting that leather to soften up. So time will tell if I will be able to put cards into that top compartment the way I could, for example, with my uh, Chanel card holder. If and when I realize that, hey, you know, you just had to give it some time and then you could put some cards into that top compartment and use it, you know, for cards or bills, I will certainly film a follow-up video to share that information with you. But for now, I would just stick personally to bills in that top compartment. Like I showed you earlier, I will pop them back in so that you can get a good look for the card case, the way I personally would be packing it, at least right now. Got the two there, two there, and the bills right up there. If this was an item that you had been considering, I hope this video gave you some insight into its capacity and how much it can hold and how it looks when it is all packed up and ready to go. And hopefully it made you uh, come to a decision as to whether or not this small leather good will be right for you. If you like this video, please do give it that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video because I would love to have you back here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.